This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you are someone who is an artistic entrepreneur and you wanna make a business out of the things you love, a great place to start is by building your own website using Squarespace. What's up, brother? Mr. John Hill. Dude, it has been, it's been a minute. A long ass minute. How you doing? Still look the same. Huh? Yeah, you look great, dude. You've been taking care of yourself. I've been going back and forth on how to edit this video. Carlos Lastra came into town, and I haven't seen him in a long time. And the truth is, he's been a little low key for the last year and a half. The last video we filmed got two point something million views because he's been through this wild journey but oddly enough in the last year or so his journey has gotten even wilder so i let carlos just talk it out and for about 10 minutes um i don't want to edit any music or cut at all i'm just gonna let his interview play uh, on the second half of this video because i feel like these subtle nuances of the way he's speaking and the way he's just everything he's putting out there uh, needs to be shown so that I will save that for the second half I'll leave the timestamps in the description down below if you want to cut to just the talking part but I'm starting off the video with just the session we had I had a really good time catching up with Carlos and it's just gonna be a soothing fun watch session so uh, watch the whole thing if you want to see just a great day with Carlos just a few hours of hanging out with him um, he's an amazing human and it's really really cool to see how far he's gone um, and you know how much he's done with what he's been given in life because you know he's not the luckiest person um, but he's definitely a very appreciative person and I appreciate him for that so enjoy the video
And now a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. I consider myself someone who is a creative entrepreneur. I try to make a living doing things that traditionally don't have a solid way of making money like skateboarding or art. And I feel like a perfect way of doing that obviously is building a portfolio, which is kind of what I use the Squarespace websites for, having a landing page to showcase your product or what you're all about. And for me, I made progressdaily.com just to do that thing. So for my brand, my company, it's right there. You go to the website and you get everything you need easily. You can choose from a ton of award-winning templates uh, and, and, and it's made by professional designers. So you just basically click it and then choose it and then drag and drop your designs. They also have email campaigns. You can build your own social media where people can like and comment on your website. You can build websites for literally any kind of thing that you want to create. And it's definitely the easiest website that I have found out there for building websites for yourself. So if you want to start that journey, I feel like Squarespace is an amazing place to begin. So if you do want to start a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com to sign up test it out and if you're ready to sign up and actually full-on commit you can use squarespace.com slash john hill or just click the link in the description down below to get 10 percent off your first purchase or domain so thank you for watching this video and now a raw interview of carlos lastra it's wild enjoy what's been going on with you dude like ever just a, a lot oh my gosh. of skateboarding just to get away from everything um because I guess I could tell you guys now because it's been a long time past. Yeah, my dad passed away and um, just life changes and just a whole different mentality. Uh, car accident, almost wasn't able to skate anymore and just kind of just testing the waters on new areas. I might actually move out here because um, I like new scenery. And just, I know what you talk about all the time about that. So pretty So here. it's like nice and um, I've been out here for the last couple days and I like the environment. I'm just testing the waters right now. Um, but yeah, um, just it's it's been a very uh, crazy year as far as that goes. And skating, like just like I was a kid, has always been a good outlet. So I just been skating on my own terms these days and supporting my sponsors as much as I can. Um, just hanging out, pretty much. So you were out for a minute, like last year. You hurt your back for a little bit. Yeah, that was a crazy car accident. Um, Kind of bedridden for a couple months and they were telling me i couldn't skate anymore and that kind of echoed in my head a lot that i wasn't going to be able to do anything so i just took it more serious and uh i remember when i got back on a board i couldn't even really kick flip on a flat it was kind of so surreal like oh man they might be right but something in my head just kind of just triggered like oh i'm gonna push it like i i'd never been the type of kid to if you tell me no, I'm gonna keep pushing at it, you know, like a mule. Like, uh, it was just so crazy that I tried to kick flip a three stair and it was like nothing. Like I couldn't do anything about it. Like, damn, this might be over. So I went home, sat down, and just told myself, like, what do I gotta do? So I took, you know, physical therapy and did a lot of walking, a lot of jogging. And it was one day, I went, I went back to California for a little bit in like the woods for a while. And it just clicked. One day, like my back feels good. And there was a local skate park out there and I just started carving this bowl, just testing out my back and it worked out. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. Like, oh my God, like, dude, I think I could do this again. So I went back to Arizona I started skating in this El Mirage skate park, and yeah, it was it was still hard to kick flip a three stair, but I can ollie stuff. And then it's when I kick flip the three block. I'll actually I'll give John Hill the clip, but if you look in the background, there's a basketball going into the hoop in the background, and it was like the first time I was like, I'm back, let's go. So ever since then, I've just been skating on my own terms and just kind of hanging out. And if I don't feel like I have to do something I won't do it because I don't want to hurt myself like that again and um, craziest it was from a car accident and then leading up to that I'm glad I went back when I did because you know my father that passed away really well my you, brother man. passed away and it was just like a crazy year for me so I took a hiatus for a little bit so from that point I just kind of took it more serious and just 
started posting. Oh, my Instagram got hacked too. It's my original one. 277,000 followers, completely gone. Like everything was just within this vicinity of like a small circle that happened all at once. And I was like, oh no, what's going on here? Like, is everything against me? Uh, nah, you know what? It's fine. I always, I'm the type of person that always sees the good things. I was like, well, I guess I gotta start all over. And I'm kind of glad I did because my old Instagram is nine personalities of, you know, eight or nine years. So it's kind of nice to just restart, have a fresh start. And everything that you see now is everything that I want to do. Not doing anything for anybody else, but supporting what they are a part of. So I've just been hanging out, having fun, and uh, testing the waters to new environments and just. Chill. It's got to be wild when almost everything you filmed for like years and years were for a video. Like almost every time you skated was filmed and everything you did was like for something. And it was like videos that we all loved and I'm sure that was exciting to film for that reason. But does it feel weird now like skating every day and being like, wow, this, this is just for me. Like this isn't going anywhere. It is for me in a sense. Like I said, it's, it's like bittersweet because I do miss like the content that I used to get. But it was like chapters in life, you know, like the chapter in my life is I just kind of want to do everything for myself now and still know that my sponsors that support me, that I'm still going to support them as much as possible. But I kind of went through that gauntlet that people talk about, you know, like I was always so hungry to please other people that I didn't really get to please myself in so many ways. And that was kind of like the problem that I subconsciously didn't know that. I was doing that to myself. That's where the stress came from, like, you know, doing all this stuff for Braille. And I always did everything for everybody else, never really skated for myself for the longest time. So these days, it's kind of, I just want to skate for myself and have fun. And I'm glad that I still have the, the moral support from everybody who's ever watched me, you know, like, what, even when I restarted my Instagram, like, the amount of fans that were still there was awesome, dude. And it's, like me and John just came here today, like right off the bat. Like we both had to, you know, take a few selfies. It was kind of mm -hmm. cool, you know. But it's that's not that which matters, you know. It's like it, it matters that we're just having fun and just enjoying what we earn, you know. Yeah, I feel like I've never been able to just progress without feeling like I'm getting the content for someone else. Like I, even when I was growing up, I was like, well, the footage I get, it needs to be the kind of footage that'll get me sponsored. So like, I feel like I'm just after like. 15, 20 years getting into like, this is how I would skate if like no one was watching. And it's been like fun trying to learn tricks that way. I feel yeah, like. That's kind of how it is now. Like a lot of the stuff that I film, it's my new Instagram. I want you guys to know is just how, what I feel that day. And just, you know, I always start off from scratch these days. Like it's never, I'm going to go get this trick done. No, it's warm up, start with a few ollies start from scratch it's like a brand new canvas every day it's a brand new painting that's how i look at skateboarding these days for myself and um i'm just forever grateful like because it was almost taken away from me about a year ago and a lot of that echoes in my head when i go to do these tricks because i know that it's very temporary you know like i'm 32 years old now and it's like i said it, it was almost taken away but the fact that I'm able to understand, like, to be grateful for something that was given and earned, like, it was given back to me, you know, I just, it's so crazy. Yeah, you're someone who's good at really continuously thinking about the moments that you should appreciate. I think that's hard for a lot of people. Um, but I guess when you've been through what you've been through, it's easy to appreciate every bit of good that comes. And yeah, skateboarding is a lot of good. And sometimes even I associate skateboarding with like bad times, which is weird, you know? I do sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I, I do bring up like, think about where you came from and how hard it was and just kind of push it. But that's only when I'm filming. It's, I kind of get in my own head. Yeah. But for the most time, people say that I always have a smile on my face. I'm always just flowing around when I'm not trying. and. They say I never fall down. That's because you know, I got an injury. I'm not trying to. Mm. But they even said my style had changed a little bit. I don't know mm. what that is. Like they're like, yeah, your arms are so relaxed. I'm like, because I can't use them. My back is like still kind of, kind of hurt. You're like, 
what Antoine Dixon sees or something. No, like, I mean I, I noticed... use them every now and then, but like. Well, today you look sharp. I mean, it was cool because I, you know, I've I've been talking to you since your injury and stuff too, and I, you know, it it was, it was obviously obvious when you were injured. You know, you could tell by your body, your oh, composition. Dude, looking back at like when I started my new Instagram, like I actually did that this morning. Um, just looking back at everything and it, it took a lot of uh, just reconstructing like who I am and like how I can be on a skateboard. It wasn't easy, trust me. Well, I was shocked today to see how smooth you do look, how you're saying with the Antoine arms and how relaxed you are. I'm like, dude, he's like 100% and it looks like you're 100% back to Carlos last year, like doing what you do. Nah, I'm really not. <laughs> where where, where I'm are really you? Not. Where are you in percentage wise? You think? Different. Just different. Just different. A whole new skateboarder and. Human. I mean, I'm I'm grateful to have it back, but like even the mindset's so different. This is a new Carlos. This is not Braille Carlos. This is not NKA Carlos. This is this is Carlos Lasher.